Hi folks, thanks for joining me for a little bit of still water fishing this week. It should be a decent day, despite the fact we've got 35 to 40 mile an hour winds and at times the rain's been horizontal. But I'm hoping to be able to put something together today for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi folks, uh, I'm stood with Malcolm Hunt, he's the manager here at Manning for Trout Fishery and we're just going to have a little chat about the fishery and what we could have had. So I was supposed to come yesterday Malcolm but uh, we got put off. Can you just describe to me what the weather was like yesterday because we'd be quite interested. Uh, it's about 20 degrees, bright sunshine uh, and uh, yeah, perfect conditions. Yeah and uh, what, what am I facing today? 40 mile an hour winds. <laughs> horrendous rain uh, yeah couldn't be any worse conditions if we tried yeah so you might not see the fishery for the actually it's a very beautiful fishery and you're not going to see that today but um, hopefully you'll see some of the trout that um, Manningford stock here there's some real surprises in the water I've seen pictures of people with double figured fish I might not be so lucky today but we'll see what we can do later on so Malcolm how long have you been manager here at Manningford? Uh, since 2008, um, I was involved since 2004, but right. we had other fish farms at the same time. Okay. Um, so we had three fish farms, uh, and then we took this on um, as the restocking side of it and fishery. We already had the table farm and the hatchery. Right. Um, and then 2017. Um, I stopped working for that company and I now work for the estate here. Excellent, so you obviously enjoy the job, you've uh, you've it's, been here long enough. Yeah, it, it's 30, 31 years for me this year. Yeah, so what? how does a fishery operate? Is it a catch and kill fishery, catch and release? So we have two lakes, uh, Manor Lake which is catch and kill. Yeah. Um, from and that's the biggest lake is it? This, yeah, yeah. The, the lake just behind me, uh, four and a half acres. Uh, depth ranging from 3 feet to 12 feet, uh, really varied throughout the whole lake. Uh, then we've got Squires Lake which we dug in 2010, um, that goes from 4 feet down to 15 feet. It's only a small lake, acre and a quarter, but we use that as a smaller fish but catch and kill or catch and release. Right. Uh, we give the option on that one. A lot of people around here want catch and release, and there's nowhere else around here that does it. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've noticed that with a few of the fisheries, um, that it's a catch and kill policy. I'm not a great fan of it, but I understand the reason why. You know, if you want to take fish for the table, great, but um, some people want to release fish, and I think it's great that you, you offer that opportunity. We've got to appeal to everyone. Yeah. And if we've got to do it, why not? Yeah. If it brings more people through the door, we have to do these things. So, g give, given the conditions today, what would you go out and start with if you were fishing today? If I was fishing today, uh, be one of two things. It'd either be straight out there stalking the big fish, or for a bit of fun, dry fly or booby dragged across the surface. Right. It's quite a chop on the water now. So, pl plenty of fish in the surface yes yeah they're never deep the, you know we we don't suffer with hot water temperatures throughout the summer so yeah we max out well the, it's degrees. actually fed by the river avon isn't it it is yes yeah yeah which is ideal and we don't suffer with cold water temperatures yeah um, so we fish 365 days a year perfect um, which is quite unusual for the south well, I, I, would, I would say I'm keen to get going, but I can see through the window that it, the rain's now horizontal and <laughs> uh, there is one angler out there braving it and uh, I take my cap off to him. I'm going to go and get tackled up and see how I get on. Thanks very much for speaking no to me, no Malcolm. No problem at all. Have fun. Cheers.
Well, despite the weather, uh, I've, I've persevered. I started with a floating line, 10 foot of tippet, and uh, Malcolm actually came over and suggested that I fish a, a very small, limited hare's ear pattern, and I managed to take a fish. Um, the weather's not improving too much, but at least the fishing's good. I've had um, one other besides, and I've lost a couple, so that's fairly good for just starting. Let's have a wee look at the fish. Well, the weather's not abating much and uh, it's, it's a double-edged sword really, so I've pretty much got the fishery to myself. There was a chap here earlier, he was doing okay, he was catching a few fish, but other than that, I think the weather's keeping most anglers at bay. But I'm having great fun. I've, um, I've lost the fly that was catching me fish, so I've changed to a weighted blob and the water's not really dirtied up yet because the river's not had a chance to feed in all the rainwater from last night. So I, I'm physically watching the fish chasing after my flies. It's great sport. Thoroughly enjoying it and they fight hard. I'm, uh, I'm on six pound tippet at the moment and that seems to be the right balance between um, being able to catch and keep the fish and get maintaining the takes so it's been great I'm just hoping that the rain and the wind's going to calm down later in the day so that I can do a little bit more filming so I'm going to get back to it Well, I've, I've come in from the rain for a bit. Uh, the horizontal rain's not much fun to fish in, but as long as the fish are biting, you're a happy man, you know? And I've been getting plenty of sport. The uh, best method's been a natural approach. So I'm fishing with a 10 foot seven weight on a floating line, and the tip that I'm using is six pound ghost mode, which would, and I've got a hair's ear type pattern on that that I'll show you in a second. But that's been by far the most successful. I've also caught fish on humonguses and I've had a couple on blobs, but the fish really seem tuned in to the naturals at the moment. I have had opportunity to try dry fly fishing, but as soon as the squally wind ripples up the water, the fish seem to just go off the feed again. So uh, I'm gonna persevere with the wet flies, I think. It seems to be the best method. And the good news is I haven't had to resort to the bung, so uh, that's a nice change for me. It's usually one of the first things I reach for, but it's not been required today. I don't know how well you can hear the rain bouncing off the roof of the hut here, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to give up anytime soon. Luckily, there's no such thing as bad weather, there's only bad kit. Well, you couldn't make this up really. Uh, the rain's finally stopped. The fish have come up in the water. I've switched to dry flies and uh, it's just bonanza time. So I've put a little sedge pattern on. I've dropped my tippet down to six pounds and uh, hey, the fun's just beginning.
I was starting to think I was off my head for staying out in this weather, but you know what? Now the rain's just subsided a little. It, it, it's phenomenal, the amount of fish. You don't realize how many fish you're actually fishing for until they start coming up like they are now. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Well, it's about four o'clock now. I've been here all day. Uh, the weather's been shocking. I've, I've got to be honest, it's, it couldn't have been much worse. The afternoon though, the wind did ease up and when the rain kind of subsided, the fish came right up on dries and uh, I've had a phenomenal afternoon. The sport's been non-stop. I've been using small sedge patterns down to about size 14. Had to scale my tippet down to six pounds, which is the minimum requirement here at Manningford because they do stock with some big fish, double figured fish. So anything less than uh, six pounds is, is irresponsible really. So scaled down to six pounds, made sure I degreased the leader each time, kept the fly on the surface and had a load of sport. Um, lost count of how many fish I've had. And, and that's not being boastful, that's just how it is. It was like a mill pond at times and the fish were just popping up everywhere. It was fantastic. So it's not the video I wanted to make here at Manningford and I'm probably gonna have to come back in better conditions when I can take you around and show you the fishery properly because it is a place of stunning quality and beauty and it'd be a shame for you to see it just like this. But. The other thing I would say is if you're wearing the right kit, and I've been in waders and a, a waterproof jacket all day, you can still have a great day's sport. You know, in the morning I fished a lot of lures, nymphs, and caught plenty of fish. And in the afternoon, it's been the same with the dry fly. So definitely worth a visit if you've got the right equipment. Don't turn up in jeans like I've just seen one boy, because he's going to be wet pretty damn quick. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. See you all next time.